there's lots of surveys that show that consumers are actually happy with advertising where it is actually relevant to their needs. And I think the fine line, and, and just to be clear, you know, little data on the right side of the line is between, you know, where you actually opt in the email list and you're actually interested in hearing from this brand and you're clearly on their store and you're interested in buying something. And then where it crossed the line of being creepy is where you never gave that brand their email, but suddenly you've got an email in your inbox from them. And yeah, this stuff, ha this stuff is happening. Uh, you know, there's some solutions to do that. Um, they get away with it in the US because there's li very limited sort of consumer protection laws there, or, you know, people take a lax view of kind of email marketing permission. But I think that it sure hits your spam rates because, yeah, there's a certain number of consumers like, well, no, hang on, I, I, I didn't, you know, and I know if it's, you know, they might remember that they, they visited the brand storefront, but they're like, but, you know, only to check something out. I never gave you permission to market to me. 